So I'll click on sign in and we'll go over to Apple Business Connect. So it's just businessconnect.apple.com. And then I'll go sign in here. So this is our ClearPivot business profile. Our profile was filled out previously, but they've added some new features with this expansion of the platform. I'm on the ClearPivot business info itself here. And so this is basically just like the legal stuff and that all looks good. And then one potentially nice looking thing is it looks like you can add multiple locations under a business which is different from Google Business Profile where every business is just standalone. We'll try out user management by adding Nicole in. And then we have the location switcher up here and then we can control the info for the individual locations. So we'll click in here. One new thing they added was being able to manually add in your own logo and cover photo. So I'll add in the logo first. So that's the photo. I'll add a cover photo too. I'll just add the same cover photo we have on our Google business profile. And it's basically our team portrait. Display name, clear pivot, about. We'll grab the about description from our Google business profile here. All right, cool. For photos, we've usually just been adding our team photos. It takes a little bit of time. I won't do that now. Uh, I do need to update the address here. This all looks good. You can see what other categories there are. I only have web design service. Maybe I'll add that. So that's the overall info. Let's see what showcases are. Special offers or events. The headline, body description call to action, a photo, and then insights here. That's a little bit of analytics. So we updated the Colorado location. I'll try adding in another location. Put in the categories here. Hours, Monday through Friday, nine through five. Is this location share info? Yes. And for verification, let's see. Utility bill. I'll try uploading one of those. Cool. Now we still have the same business here, but we have two locations.